Hello, good morning. Welcome to the official opening of Toy Story Land. Yeah, we're back. Now it's official. Heading into Toy Story Land <coughs> for the grand opening after the soft opening. We got fast passes, so we got really lucky because there's a three hour wait line just to get into Toy Story Oof. right now. Yeah. But if you have fast passes, they let you in. Fast passes. Why they're called fast passes. So excited, we got the fast passes for Slinky Dog and we figured even if it takes a little long because it probably will to get on anyway, there's such a huge line, it'll go way faster than four hours. There's a four hour, well over four hour wait line right now to go on the Slinky Dog. And a 280 minute wait just to get into Toy Story Land. Yep. So, I mean, that's another four hours and some change right there. I see the fast pass end of the line. We made it! We actually came here last night, so we were able to purchase the merchandise that I wanted. Which is why we came in later today just to write this since we had the fast passes for it. Yeah, it's working out. Look at this, it's Rex and it's a box from Al's Toy Boy. I love that they install fans so much better because it's a very hot day. For more, so we thought the fast pass lane would be like at least uh, 45 minutes to an hour. Been here for not even 15 max. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> you have to get a fast pass for this. I know. I know it's not always that easy. It took me days, like checking practically every day, and we got really lucky. But look at this. We just kind of came in and. We're right next to the right. Look at my sweat. It's <laughs> low, right? That's how hot it is. But this is great. It's a big fan and it's covered in it. I love the fans. That is an amazing touch. It helps out a lot. On a hot day, I like to get Here's our ride. and turns and ups and downs. Yeah, more than I thought. But it's not awesome. too intense, so not like a loop de loop. Yeah, you got a friend in me. I'm so happy. I just can't stop singing. Our friendship will never die. You're going to be more dashed around the backyard. Now please stay seated until we come to a complete stop. What's your verdict? As I said, I thought it was better than I initially. Yeah, that was really fun. 
Yeah. It's a bigger roller coaster than we expected. And highly recommend. I think it's like you can compare it to the mine train at Magic Kingdom. I think it'll be just as popular because yeah. a kid could ride it. So it's for kids and adults. Yeah, it's a good one. It's good all around. Family ride. Thumbs up. And here is Woody's yeah. lunchbox. We came here last night. We ate here. It was pretty good. I actually really like the what are they called? What are they called again? What? What's what? The tachos. Oh, the, the yeah, tater the tot nachos. Right, the tachos. Tacho. I really like those. I mean, as I said yesterday, don't expect you know a fancy restaurant. It's just a grab and go. A quick bite, but for a quick bite, it's pretty good. I like that it's so nicely themed. And I mean, the crowds will eventually die down a little bit. It's just pretty bad right now. Because look at the line just to order the food. So we came yesterday and tried the food. We came today and did the slinky dog. And now tomorrow, we're gonna come back and do the swirling saucers because we have fast pass for those for tomorrow. <laughs> So the line for this is 180 minutes, the standby. And you can see back there, all that under construction. That's gonna be Star Wars land, which is supposed to open next year. Should be fun to explore the galaxy's edge. I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think it's a lot of fun. It's very themed. I think uh, kids would definitely love it. It's very, very colorful. And if you're coming in the short term, try the best to plan ahead. Yeah, really try to get a fast pass for the Slinky Dog. Make the experience a lot more pleasurable. I think the Slinky Dog is, as I mentioned, the uh, Seven Dwarfs version right here in Hollywood Studios. You should definitely get fast passes if you have kids and if that's a must ride for you. Not just if you have kids because I like riding it too. Yeah. I think as I said it's good for kids and adults. We're big kids. We're the big kids but right now we are toys. That's right everybody around here is a toy. And by the way right over here is the new entrance for Toy Story Mania. Let's see how long the wait time is. Looks like 45 minutes. Not bad, but not for now. In and out in less than an hour. That's what I call efficient. That'll work. That was great. Yeah, it took us exactly one hour to go into Soyland, do the Slinky Dog. We walked around for a little bit. We got these because it's really hot. So for our walk back to the boardwalk. Yeah. We're happy campers. Happy toys. That was great. It was pretty crowded, but that was to be expected. However, we got so lucky. We're thinking we should probably play the lottery today. We did luck out. If you have fast passes, you don't have to make the line to go into Toy Story. And yeah. then obviously you don't have to make the uh, long line for the Slinky Dog. It took us like 15 minutes or less. It's I just... did work for it. I had to be checking the Disney website every single day. She worked <laughs> to hard. To get those fast passes. My girl came through in the clutch. Yeah. And planning. Thankfully we got them, but plan ahead. That's so plan important. Ahead. That's planning how you pays get... off. Yeah, yeah. That's how you get those kind of... Uh, perks, plan ahead. I mean, it's it's free, it's included. It's not free, it's included, but... Totally worth it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that was great. Now we can go hang out by the pool. That's right. By the way, check out my vlog from yesterday if you want to see more of Toy Story. I'm gonna link it down below. And we'll be back in a couple of minutes. That will technically be tomorrow for us. <laughs> <laughs> we are back in Toy Story Land. That's right. We got unfinished business. We gotta go ahead to the alien swirling saucers. We got the fast passes. Good thing for the fans again, but I need this one to start working. Come on, guys. 
So far, we have been in line for a minute. Let's see how long it takes to get on the ride on the Fast Pass lane. How hot is it? 89, but it feels like 99. Yeah, it's just very hot because it's very humid too. No wind. Ugh. tosses you. Yeah, I thought it was more like bumper cars. They're not. Yeah, they just sling you around, swirling. Yeah, if you don't like uh, things that go around, it's probably not the right for you, but I thought it was a lot of fun. And it's pretty short, so yeah, not yeah. too, too bad. No, it's short. It's not like mission space, nothing like that right, that goes right. around and around. Technically, there's shade. It works. We made a mobile order, so we're waiting in that line. So we stopped at Woody's Lunchbox for a quick snack, and this is what we got. What do you think? Tachos, highly recommend, all day. We got nachos, we got tater tots, we got chili, we got cheese, sour cream, chives, if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> we got beer on a hot day, and ice cream, float, root beer style, so we already tried the grilled cheese the other day, and what was the thing The brisket, barbecue right. brisket. I really like the grilled cheese. I think the tachos are good to order here because it's something different, like that's what's kind of different. But so far my favorite thing here has been this float. I don't know if it's because it's a really hot day and it's very refreshing, it's so good, but this is my favorite thing. <laughs> it's a classic. What's your favorite? Barbecue beef, barbecue beef brisket. From what we've tried, of course, we haven't tried yeah. everything. But, uh, Work on that next time. I really like the grilled cheese. Overall, I think it's a really good place um, for a quick bite. Yeah. I will point out that there are no fans here and zero winds. So it's really, really hot. We just checked the weather and it's 90 degrees. So this would be my suggestion to Disney. Not that they would listen, but this would be mine. They can fit a few fans here. Yeah. Maybe put we need some something. circular fans under the umbrellas. Because the it's wind, option. there's no wind right now. Of course, there's always wind. I know that. But I'm saying we don't feel it. You can see the trees are not moving. So it's really, really hot at 90 degrees, no wind circulating, and no fans around. People are complaining. And pretty much everyone looks kind of miserable right here. Because it's like you're in the middle of an oven. A lot of hot toys around here. They're going to melt. We're all gonna melt. We're melting. Look at this board guy's back. And when I came to three, I want all y'all to clap, cheer, and scream as loud as you can. Can you hear, sir? Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. sir. One, two, three. Woo! I applaud and salute all. I'm so glad that all y'all are having such a good time. As you were. <laughs> we are heading out 
We had so much fun at Toy Story. By the way, I think I forgot to mention this, but at Woody's Lunchbox, you can now order them on your phone. So you can order it on your phone, that way you don't have to make the line. And just when you're there, you click, I'm here, prepare the meal for me, something like that. And you just wait and they'll make it for you and you don't have to make the line as I said. They'll just give it to you at a separate window. Little tip. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I will see you on the next one. In the meantime, take care, be good. Ciao. See ya real soon.